Today I'm going to be putting one of these replacement joysticks in this N64 controller here. I just got this red one. It is the complement to the other primary color controllers that I have out for uh, the occasions where I uh, do multiplayer on this, which is infrequently, you know, feels bad. You know, as you get older, you have uh, less time to less time to play video games with uh, friends and whatnot. So. Um, anyways, uh, so all the other controllers have the, I'm not replacing it because the stick is bad, but all the other controllers have this style, uh, joystick on there. I've gotten quite used to using it myself, so I want them all to be uniform. So it's a nice, it's a nice shape overall. And, uh, I'm going to definitely save this stick as a replacement for, uh, someone who may want a factory replacement that's in good shape. That's that's as, almost as good as new as far as I can tell. Especially if we uh, take it apart and lube it up a bit with some white lithium. Anyways, so I'm going to be doing that. I will try to position the camera that I can show the process, but uh, you know, there's a lot of videos out there on this, I'm sure. Um, if not with this specific joystick, for sure with uh, some kind of process that requires opening the controller. So. So the first thing you do, obviously, is take all these screws out. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven right there. And those will all come out with a, they will come out with a standard, like, number two screwdriver, uh, if this shank is skinny enough. But these two in here often trip people up. Those will only come out with a smaller size. So keep that in mind. Um, and the... This clamshell just comes apart after that very easily. There should be no resistance on it. So if you feel resistance, you probably missed a screw. Um, and we're going to be taking these screws out next. These three are the same size as those small ones uh, in terms of screw head anyways. Um, you take, we're going to take the Z button off right there. It just unclips. You just push on the side. So you can probably do that one-handed, I think. Yep. Very easily again. Not a... Uh, not a lot of pressure, shouldn't have to force it, and that just folds out of the way. And then you have to undo this connector, which uh, sometimes is easier than others. I've separated it with just my fingernails before, and then other times I've had to get a, a small flat blade screwdriver in there. But again, with anything you do, just don't use too much force. If it if it's not coming with a reasonable amount of force, then you know something's wrong. So uh, look for other possibilities at that point but uh, so you don't need to take this screw out right here either that holds the joystick itself together you just need these three the gold colored ones and uh, you just swap it out I mean everything's just plug and play so it's pretty pretty simple so I'll uh, do that real quick all right so in a matter of a few minutes or less we have this uh, the old control stick out, which like I said is perfectly good. I'm going to set that aside. Uh, and we got the new one in there. It has, we said all this the connector is the same. Uh, the connector, by the way, I did need a screwdriver for. So I did get my little flat bladed screwdriver and just eat, very gently wedged it apart. Um, so this connector plugs right back in there. And the Z button will clip right back in the same place as well. That should be no problem. Uh, but I, just, I did the other two screws, but I wanted to just show this one. This is a, a good tip for any threaded hole, um, just to make sure you don't get cross-threaded, but especially useful in plastic threads like this. Uh, if you turn uh, counterclockwise, which would be loosening, right, um, with the uh, fastener out of the hole, you go until you can kind of either hear or, or use it more like feel. You can kind of feel it bump or click when it's, that's how you know you got the threads lined up. So I don't know if you heard that, but I certainly felt it in my finger there. And now I know with it for sure that I'm not going to get it cross threaded and mess it up. So it's in the, it's threading in the right way. So it's a good tip. Like I said, a good tip for any threaded hole. Um, but especially for plastic because it uh, gets chewed up pretty easily, especially with a metal screw like that. So 
again make those reasonably tight just what you can do with your uh, your fingertips basically and this is a number one screwdriver by the way Phillips and you can do all the screws with that like I said you can use a number two for the larger ones but you might as well just have a number one and do everything with that so so you need the flat screwdriver so anyway so then yeah you just put the uh, put the clamshell back together uh, make sure that all like the especially these uh, shoulder buttons are back in place the L and R buttons so that they can fall out sometimes but you need all that to be lined up the pins and whatnot and uh, obviously you put these connectors back in back in place and the Z button back in place and again same thing the Z button is just going to snap right in That one's a little, a little bit tighter, but it'll, it'll snap in. I just need two fingers, I think. But um, yeah, and that connector will plug back in, and then put the shell back together, put the screws back in, doing that same thing like uh, you're doing the reverse thread trick there that I showed you. That is always a good idea. And then uh, I'll show you it when it's done. All right, now I have my happy little family of N64 controllers with their GameCube style sticks. Um, my green is the one I use, you know, most of the time, like I said, uh, it's not too often actually that I have a chance to play, especially more than two players, uh, it's pretty rare to have three or four players, but, uh, you know, it happens enough to warrant having the controller still, and it's a good time when it does, but, um, anyways, so, uh, yeah, I did find that over time, the idea of these, the, these GameCube style sticks last a lot longer, and they, uh, um, they have kind of a, a, a smoother range of movement. It is, uh, like I said, it's called the GameCube style replacement stick because it is very similar to the GameCube uh, stick in its function, not necessarily in its form. It's shorter and it doesn't have as big of a pad and the pad is not uh, soft. It is just like the hard plastic like the original one. Um, there's not as much grip to it. I've heard some people complain about that. Uh, I haven't had a problem with it, although I can definitely see uh, looking at this new one, I'm not sure if it'll come in on the camera, but I can definitely see it at the right light angle. Um, there's a more defined ring on this one, on this brand new one, and all of these came from the same manufacturer, so they should be should be the same. Um, but anyways, so they, yeah, this definitely has a lot more texture to it than this one does. So I've just worn it down with my thumb. Uh, I've had that on there for a good uh, at least probably three years or maybe even a little bit more time of time really has been flying for the past few years for me but uh, uh yeah uh it's it's been on there for a while and i've uh, n64 is one of the uh, systems i play the most so it's I've, I've put a lot of hours on it and uh didn't have any trouble with it and very recently i was having out oh, there we go i got it to do it as i was speaking i got it's just it's not really that big of a deal when you're playing but uh, occasionally if you're if you're needing to release from that position that can be kind of a pain um, so I may have to that may be another video um, just uh, but uh, I've it, it definitely helped to put some lube just on the inside here that same white lithium grease you would use on the original ones um, I just put it like around the gates here and let it kind of just smear in um, and that that helped the stickiness it didn't do it as regularly but as you can see it still happens sometimes so uh, it may not be a bad idea to lubricate these as well before you put them in and if that's the case uh, this one's brand new obviously and these two don't have too many hours on them so um, I'll take them all apart and uh, and lube them up probably is, is probably a good thing to do so um, and you can you can feel the difference this one is definitely um, you know more worn you know like I said it doesn't feel worn out and it def certainly doesn't wear out the same way the original sticks do where it gets all loose and floppy but uh, you can feel it's 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 got a difference to its smoothness and in my opinion I think that's actually kind of a good thing because this can this this takes some getting used to it definitely is a little uh, quite a bit faster uh, to get from one end of the range of motion to the other it's pretty accurate and I've heard people complain about certain things not working but I, I honestly haven't found anything that doesn't work per se uh, there's definitely some games that do work better with just a tight original stick though I, I will admit that for sure 
But uh, for the majority of games, and especially the most popular ones, um, these sticks uh, once you get once you get used to them, they they are better. I mean, there's just no two ways about it. So, um, and it's, it is a matter of opinion too. So I guess there is two ways about it. But uh, um, I think that it's o- overall, and especially for the for the price and the longevity. I, I don't believe in the longevity of the original style replacement joysticks. Those seem like they're really low quality for the most part. Maybe there's some good ones out there. I don't know. But uh, all the ones I've seen have been pretty junky. So I uh, I stick with these. Uh, the people who uh, who play multiplayer with me have gotten used to them too. So uh, uh, on the on the occasions that does happen. So and I've certainly gotten used to it. Um, but I do I do still use the original stick for some games, and then I have a uh, some of the other either off-brand or just specialty controllers that I use for certain games too. So um, I may do some videos about all that. Uh, I'm trying to uh, um, do do some kind of video game stuff. It's been slow going. I had a lot of a lot of personal stuff going on in my life, but I'd like to uh, like to do some video game kind of content. Not necessarily gaming streams or something like that, but. Uh, hobby kind of stuff kind of like kind of like a few videos i've put up so see how it goes um thank you for watching and uh if you have any questions or comments be sure to post them down below and i will uh do my best to answer them promptly and i uh they said there's probably going to be another video on uh in relation to these uh control sticks anyway so uh, take care thanks for watching